see them playing. You see them doing the things that every typical two or three year old child does. And I think it's sometimes easy to forget the experience that you went through. What color do you want me to use? Purple. Purple. Oh, I love this. I honestly didn't think anything would go wrong. My pregnancy from the get-go had been perfect. It was February 17th, 2011, when we went in for that ultrasound and discovered the test was severely growth restricted. The placenta wasn't giving her the nutrients that she needed. We were told that we'd be delivering her either that day or within the next two days. I thought, what? How can this be happening? They told us that we'd have to go to the hospital just right then. I couldn't go home, nothing. I couldn't go get a bag or anything. We left the doctor's office and just bawled. I mean, we just cried. We didn't know what was going to even come of Tess, if she would survive, if she would live a day or anything. We just didn't know. When Tess was finally born, she weighed one pound, one ounce. She was teeny tiny, but she had 10 toes, 10 fingers, and she was beautiful. She really was, and we were just grateful she was alive. This is Tara's first getting to see the baby for the first time. In your mind, you expect the doctors to d deliver this baby and then put you, the baby in the mother's arms, and you're, you're just so happy. And we didn't actually get to hold Tess for probably, was it about three? 27 days. Yeah, <laughs> almost four weeks after she was born is when we first actually got to hold her. I got to hold her next to my skin, and um, and that was wonderful. I actually felt like a mother for the first time that day. How you doing, sweetheart? You never know when you're gonna have a premature baby, if you're a candidate for complications in your pregnancy. The research that the March of Dimes has done to study why why prematurity happens and what can be done when when a baby's delivered prematurely, I think is really instrumental in helping every baby to have the very best possible start. During our four and a half month stay in the NICU, we really became quite attached to our NICU family with the doctors and physicians and the staff there. To leave there was kind of emotional and felt like we were leaving a family for a while. But it was great to bring Tess home and I think on the way home, we just cried because we were just excited to finally be done with that portion of our journey. I think the biggest thing in, that I loved in bringing her home was I could hold her anytime I wanted without any monitors, without anything going off, without anybody saying put her back. We could just snuggle for hours for however long we wanted to and that was just the best feeling. What every dad envisions is that you just sit on the couch and you're watching TV and your little girl's cuddled up next to you. It's just not the NICU, it's not just us and you know we think of March of Dimes as an organization but it really is truly every single person that has given money to the March of Dimes helped us bring Tess home. There are times every day that I look at her and I think you are just, you are a miracle and we are just so blessed to have her in our life, truly.